So we're going to move on now to the methodology now of his analysis. And he works out in section 6 the systematic method. He says there's the facts now collected for the basis for a systematic method of searching out whatever universal element elementary conceptions there may be intermediate between the manifold of substance and the unity of being. Right? So he's going to look at these basic conceptions that link up uh, the multiplicity of impressions and the unity of being. And he's going to explain this through these reasons, right? So he says, first he's got the reasons that, that we can do this, that there is a method for doing this. So it's been shown that the occasion of the introduction of a universal elementary conception is either a reduction of the manifold of substance to unity. So a universal elementary conception reduces the manifold to unity, right? So it has to make this reduction. Or else the, conju the conjunction to substance of another conception. So this elementary conception either reduces everything to unity or it links a previous conception to the substance. So if you, know, if you imagine that chart again with being on the bottom and the, the substance on the top, either you've got some conception that creates the unity of being or you've got another conception that links that conception up to the substance. He's saying that there's two kinds of conceptions. One conception creates the unity Another conception links that unity to the substance, right? So those are the, the two, if we're, if, we're, if we're trying to construct this bridge from beings to substance, those are the two kinds of conceptions we can have, right? Something that creates the unity, another one that links the unity to the substance, right? Okay. Then, and it has been further shown that the elements conjoined cannot be supposed without the conception, Whereas the conception can generally be supposed without these elements. And this is, this is this fact of precision. The elements of substance can't be linked. You can't, substance up there needs some conception to be linked together, to, to create some kind of unity. But you can have a conception without those elements. Right, so he's saying that the conceptions are prior to those, to those elements out there. Right, so that, you know, so it's, he's kind of reversing what you would normally think. You know, you would normally think first you've got all these things out in reality, and then from there you get to some kind of general conception. And he says, no, it's the other way around, right? The elements of conception can't be linked. You can't, of substance can't be linked without a conception. You have to start with the conception, and then you can get back to the things out there. Right? So it's, uh, he's kind of reversing our normal thinking about this, right? And he's, he thinks he's shown this already because he's already shown how elementary conceptions can be prescinded from the impressions that they're unifying, right? Because you can, you can imagine those things without those impressions, even though, and you can't imagine the impressions without the conception, okay? So, then he, he get, just one second. Then he goes to the warrant. Right? Uh, and again, he, he's, 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 he, well, he, he gives this a name, his, his methodology, empirical psychology. His empirical psychology discovers the occasion of the introduction of a conception, and we have only to insert, ascertain what conception already lies in the data which is united to that of substance by the first conception, but which cannot be supposed without this first conception to have the next conception in order in passing from being to substance. I know this is a very confusing sentence, right? Okay. Uh, but what he's saying, okay, is first he's, he's saying empirical psychology is the, sort of the name of his method, right? which is to say he's looking at our, what's going on in our mind in order to come up with his conclusions about how we are able to take experience and reduce it to unity. Right, so that's the, 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 the data he's using is sort of the, the workings of our mind, right? And the method is to move from being to substance. Again, start with being which is the unity, and he's moved toward substance. Each additional conception is already implied by the way the previous conception links to substance. But this additional conception cannot be supposed without the previous conception, right? So, um, what he's saying that <coughs> once you have being, you have an understanding of that linkage, and once you understand that linkage, there's something else that you have to actually, actually already 
are implying by understanding that linkage, and that's going to be the next conception. Right, so he's, he's, he's going he's to look at being and what is necessary to being, and his, you know, um, we're going to get to this in a second, but he's going to say, well, it, what's necessary to being, and when you think being, you're thinking of a linkage, you're linking subject to predicate. Well, if you're thinking that linkage, well, then you have to have predicates, obviously. You can't have a linkage without a predicate, because that, that's what you're linking, right? And so once you've got being, you've got this first conception, Implied in that first conception is another conception, and that's going to be the next conception in the movement toward substance, right? So what he's doing, he's trying to say, look, if we just start with being, we just analyze how being works, we're going to get the next conception. Because it, even in the concept of being, there's another conception embedded in that concept that's necessary for being to function, and that's going to be the next conception in the movement toward substance. Right? And so he says, all we have to do is construct this ladder, looking at each conception, seeing what each conception implies, and then that's how we get the next conception in this ladder up toward substance. Right? So that's his method. Right? And, then, and then he checks his method by saying, okay, well, we, can this be prescinded from the, from the next thing? Right? And, if, and if there's that relationship of precision, then he said, oh, okay, we're on the right track. Right, because that relation of precision is the one that's going to tell you, oh, this is a more elementary conception than that next conception. All right. Um, so what he's got then now is this sort of ladder, right, where being, he's going to start with being, he's going to look at what is necessary in order for being to function, and then he's going to look at can being be prescinded from that next conception. And then he's going to go to this next conception, and he says, well, what's necessary for this conception to function to get that conception, and then can it be prescinded from the next conception? And he's going to go up till he gets to substance. All right? and, and he does actually have these three mediating conceptions. And so we're going to go through that right now. Okay? <coughs>